Hi, I'm Aryan. I'm the interior designer of this place. I run a company called AT&T. We just do interior design services. Uh, I started commercially um, in about 1998, and then um, residential I've been doing since 2006. So about 10 years now in Singapore. First, the design aesthetics. Uh, we try to do a, what we call a preppy design. So at the base of it, it's uh, very traditional. All the architectural detailing is kept very traditional. Uh, large skirting boards, uh, cornices, etc. But then when we look at uh, furniture and colors, we uh, use things a little bit more contemporary, a bit more modern, and also a little bit quirky. So we try to infuse uh, both colors together with muted colors, so it, it sort of things stand out a little bit more. I think a lot of Singaporeans try to follow uh, trends. So if uh, companies are proposing contemporary looks or a Scandi look or an industrial look, they kind of uh, run with it. But uh, most of these kind of companies are designed and built, so they uh, not necessarily look into the design aesthetics of things. I think these choices are also made because of budgets and of ease of uh, construction, I guess. Because what we do mostly are a lot of panel doors, uh, special materials, so it's not so easy to source, but also not so easy to manufacture. So um, I think it's, if you're on a, in a certain budget range, it is sometimes hard to achieve uh, certain looks. When you collect your keys and you're looking for an interior designer, I think it is good that you do a little bit of research. Uh, look at mood boards, look at pictures uh, of homes that you like. Often, a lot of these pictures are American-based homes. So, um, can certain styles be achieved in the home that you want? I get a lot of people that want to do let's say an island in the kitchen, but uh, it's a BTO, so the kitchen is too small to actually do an island, so you have to be realistic in that sense as well.